Hi, my name is Amit, and in the upcoming minutes, I will explain how to handle Unispectral's new and exciting multispectral EV case. The EVK in its structure is very similar to a standard camera. There's a touchscreen on the back and a lens with our MEMS residing on top of it in the front. On top, there's an on-off button. The EVK is turned on by inserting the power cable and pressing the on button for two seconds. It takes a few seconds for the system to boot and for the main screen to appear. As you can see, the control menu is on the left-hand side. It includes six buttons related to six control screens. Cam is the camera menu, where we configure exposure and gain. LED is the LED menu. Band is the center wavelength menu. Play is a light preview run of the chosen sequential. Save is the saving options menu of the images to the drive. And process is the analysis menu, which is sold separately. Now let's see how it works. In the camera menu, we control the exposure and gain. On the right-hand side, we can insert a gain value between 0 and 15 and press set. On the left-hand side, we can choose to set the exposure either manually or automatically. If we choose the manual setting, we can insert an exposure between 0 and 500 and press set. If we choose the automatic setting, we need to choose a reference white target for illumination normalization. Once we press set, the camera automatically sets the exposure time for each CWL to compensate for the illumination variance. In the LED menu, we have four different LED options. Pressing each of the LED options will turn that specific LED on or off. We can only turn on two LEDs at most simultaneously. In the band menu, we have a description of the available central wavelengths and their exposure times. We can choose which CWLs to include or exclude from the captured cube and independently control each of their exposure types. In the play option, we can run a preview of the sequential and see the different CWLs of the cube that was set. You can choose how long each CWL is previewed at the bottom of the screen. In the save menu, you can choose between saving an image at a single band and saving the entire band sequential. If the camera detects an inserted USB flash drive, the option of saving to that drive will become available. Once we save, we can do some analysis in the capture cube in the process menu. The spectrum profile option presents a graph of the average spectrum of the selected ROI. The false color option, which is a part of the separately sold analysis kit, enables the presentation of a false color image calculated using one of several methods, such as PCA decompensation or normalized STD of the hyperspectral cube. We will now demonstrate two different scenarios. The first one is of a number of objects which include real and fake plants, a color chart, and two glasses, one with water and one with coke. Using our camera, you can see the spectral variance between the different objects. For example here, the water is getting darker with the bands and the coke is getting clearer. You can also see the difference between the spectral response of fake and real plants. The second scenario you can see here is of face spoofing detection. For further information, please log on to our site, leave your details, and we will get back to you shortly.